It's time for another JGLP. What's gonna happen? Just watch and see. Bum. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Joshua Gillespie. Yes, I am back with another Let's Play. I know it's been a long time, but it's good to be back. And we are playing Stinko Man 20XD6 from HomestarRunner.com. If you have never heard of HomestarRunner.com, it is a uh, flash cartoon website that came up around the early 2000s and is still very popular, surprisingly, even though they have been, they haven't done a new cartoon. Well, they did one in April, but it's been on a bit of a hiatus for the past couple years. But it is still very popular, and the people who created it, Matt and Mike Chapman, plan to bring it back sometime this summer, even though summer's almost over, or sometime in the fall. So I thought it'd be fun just to check out one of the most popular Flash games from the website, Stinko Man 20XD6, a parody of the very difficult games released for the NES, most notably Mega Man. Now, as you can see from this title screen, they have uh, a lot of subtle things, like um, you can obviously tell right there that it's going to be Mega Man styled, um, and some English with continued. You also have a manual you can read through. Um, for those of you who don't know uh, what Homestar Runner is, um, basically it's just the adventures of these wacky characters in a place called Free Country USA with Homestar Runner, Strong Bad, Marzipan, Bubs, Coach Z, King of Town, Poopsmith, Homestar, uh, who else? Strong Sad, Strong Mad. There's tons of characters and there's tons of alternate universes like the 1930s and 20XD6, which is the future in which Strong Bad is a Japanese cartoon. Uh, well, let's go ahead and start a new game. This game is known for being very difficult. Um, in fact, on this first level, when you get to the boss battle, um, there is a glitch where if you die, the floor will not load when you come back. So you are just going to die constantly. You, you have to beat it the first time or it's over. All right, so let's start level 1-1. One, one. I love the music in this game. It's so good. Now this game was released Oh man, I don't even remember what year this was released. Maybe 2004? Uh, maybe 2005? Oh man, I am just not doing good right now. Um, but it was never finished. There are um, nine levels with a to be continued at the very end of the ninth one, but it has never been finished. Hopefully when they come back, soon that'll be one thing they do is finish this game now I'm not sure if I want to do this as a series or just a one-off but if you want to see this continued please tell me I would love to keep playing this I love this game even though I suck at it Oh, crap, crap, crap. No! Yep. See? Now, that was a pretty... That was my fault, and it was a stupid mistake. Now, you can just hold down the S key to keep firing. But, yeah, I forget to do that. There's also a cheat code version of this game that was released. Not officially, but it was made by fans. 
um, which you can enable like invincibility or play as different characters, stuff like that. There's also a way they made that you can like, I guess you could say fly. Oh, I, don't, I just don't even remember how to kill the, that's it, you shoot the legs, that's right. Ah. Hopefully I'll be able to kill that the boss in my first try. That way I don't just get a game over. The other notable games from Homestar Runner are uh, Trogdor and uh, whoa, 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 hold on. Hold the whoa. I'm just standing on. Oh. Well, that wasn't fair. I got it just to get that one point back, but then I lost that one. Uh, wow. You win some, you lose some. But the other notable games from Homestar Runner would be. Trogdor the Burninator, also made by Strong Bad. Um, and then there is um, Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, which was released. It was made by Telltale and released on the Wii, the PS3, and the PC. Now, Telltale, you may know of them. They made the Back to the Future games. Um, and The Walking Dead, and I think I'm not really good with my re my modern video game news. I think they're making a uh, Borderlands game, but the Strong Bad one is definitely my favorite. So I'm gonna get this this health pack. See, you think you could just get it doing that, but you can't. So you have to walk, and is there a way of getting, yep, you can, I got it without getting hurt. I think we're, of course, they put it right at the end of the level where you don't need it anyway. Okay, here we go, level two. Dang! Now, Homestar Runner comes from a time where the internet was very different, you know. YouTube, I don't know if you, I don't think YouTube was even around, um, you know. When I discovered Homestar Runner, that was around the same time as stuff like the Numa Numa dance, if anyone remembers that still. Um, that's when I sort of discovered it. It was, I guess, 2004. I found it through my brother. He saw one of his friends at a party he went to was showing it to everybody, and he showed it to me. And it quickly became one of my favorite things. So I guess I was in fourth grade when I, fourth, third, kind of, fourth grade, I guess you could say, yeah, fourth grade, and I just thought it was awesome, but the thing was, they said, holy crap, and freaking, and at the time, my parents did not like either of those words, so I kind of had to keep Homestar Runner hidden from them for a few years. Actually, I remember when they found it. Okay, I think this is the boss battle. But we were watching a Strong Bad DVD in um, on a family vacation. We were in the car on the way to Florida. They got me the Strong Bad DVD, and they heard him say "freaking," and I was like, "No, that only he only says that maybe like once or twice. He never says that regularly." So I think every kid has done that at some point. Tried to hide a secret like that from their parents so they can continue to like, continue to watch something or play something, whatever. Ah, come on, I'm doing all right.
I don't know how many hits it takes to kill him, but I really hope I don't die. I did it! Oh my god, I did it! It's like that kind of thing where your heart just kind of stops for a second, your stomach drops, and you're like, yes! Alright, so, if you would like to see this continued, please tell me. I would love to keep playing this game, but if not, alright. But, this is Joshua Gillespie for JGLP, and I'll see you all on the next one.